if Ultimate UK ran a competition to win a Schneider Electric ISOB RP distribution board. We travelled to sunny Essex to catch up with one of our lucky winners. Here is what Paul had to say about the product. Hello, I'm Paul Meenan. Uh, I work for a company called Trenitalia C2C. Uh, we run trains from Fenchurch Street to Shoebury Ness and I am the asset manager for m and &E Systems. I'm also the lead for station transformation projects. Uh, uh, we're currently at Stanford La Hope doing the demolition. The product was simple, as it should be, as all the products should be easy to install. The guys had to put this board in to replace a, a life expired one. It was quick, it was simple, they got it done in one shift. It's a robust board and the plug-in modularity of the uh, RCBOs make it phenomenal. So what do I like about it? I like the connectivity and the remote monitoring. For me as a client, that works for me. The lads like the speed of installation, but the one thing that came out of this which nobody really expected was the ability for the, the board to be programmed to send you a number of various alarms so that you can actually then look at your infrastructure, what you're using, what isn't in use, and actually understand how your systems are wired and configured, um, which you can then look at how many circuits you need, do you actually need them, um, and also, if something trips out, you know straight away. But more importantly, one of the things that we have found is when there has been a near overload, we can actually send a guy out to check why the breaker is nearly tripped, which is an amazing feature. And then 99% of the time he finds that there may be a loose connection or uh, somebody's installed something as per not the design. So it, it's, it's fascinating technology because it's, it's predictive. It's, it's reactive, but inherently, if you set the alarms up well, you immediately go into a predictive this can fail, this will happen, go out and look before the event happens. I didn't expect that and that has absolutely blown me away. So hence we've got five of these boards just at this site because as you can see it's a construction site so we want that connectivity so if something does happen in the electrical distribution, even the site temps, straight away we know about it because obviously one thing we don't want to do is impact train performance. I'm now dialing in via wireless connection to the Acti-9 PowerTag board, which is based at Upminster on platform one. And as you can see, we've broken it down by usage into subcategories. You can change that, you can play around with that. You can, you can put it all under lighting or others if you want. You can have it under machines, HVAC, heating. Uh, and what that does is it actually tells you that's real-time energy usage now. Now, to some people, they'll go, well, not enough for me, so, if we go down, you'll now actually see the usage live. So if I look at booking hall lighting, for instance, 39% of that circuit is being used currently at the moment. So uh, I'd expect to go there and find some of the lights are on at the moment. And it actually tells you they're live, what it is, gives you power factor, gives you maximum demand, gives you the whole kit and caboodle. I can then close that up. I can then look at heating, booking hall heaters on, 52%. So it actually gives you a breakdown. Now if, for instance, I had a 20 amp breaker, for instance, and I was at 16 amps, that would be near to a threshold where it could possibly trip based on inrush currents. So I can program this to email me when it gets near to the threshold, which is quite a unique feature because you effectively can look at the dynamics of how your circuit is designed, look at the loading of how your circuit is designed, and then adapt the alarms to suit, which is quite a good feature. So there's 40, 40 circuits on this one concentrated device, which I've dialed into. If I look at the alarms, I go into the alarms page. The alarms page, all that does is tell me that there's zero current. So there's nothing being used at the moment, but there was one where I had an overload of 45%. And what it told me was the booking hall heater went to 53%. Now, if I want to, I can actually email all the content of that alert and the times and the dates to myself. I can even set it up so it can email my help desk. However, for 45% overload, I don't need to. Um, it, but it's interesting to just understand the dynamics of how circuits work. Technology built into lights, you've got technology built into lots of other equipment, but they're subcomponents. This is the first bit of technology built into the main distribution, 
which works, it performs, but more importantly, it gives you that confidence of energy management, any energy management, energy monitoring, faults, trips, power losses immediately. You can react quicker, you can get power back up. And if you're a landlord, it's great because if somebody is actually, you know, trying to fiddle their meter, well, you've got dial in access to the board at any one time. You can't trip the breakers out or anything like that, it doesn't need to do that but what you've, you can see the energy statistics in real time. The choice of this board for us is an absolute no-brainer, to be perfectly honest, and this is what we'll be using across every single station on the route.